Hi everyone, today we are going to study derivative, the slope of the tangent line. Suppose we have a function f which has the following curve. Then, let us pick two points of the curve. Let us name the coordinates of the two points, namely, x comma f of x for the first point and the second point is x plus h comma f of x plus h. Take note that the distance between the x coordinates of the two points is h. Now let us draw a line connecting the two points. We call this line the secant line. With respect to slope of secant line, we will write m equals f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x. We can see here that our denominator can be simplified into h. So we write it like this. Now, suppose we continue to compute the slopes of this line for smaller and smaller values of h. As we see that h goes to 0. So the line will be changed and it will look like this. In this case, the two points now coincide. And the previous secant line, we will now call it as tangent line. Now, with regard to the slope of tangent line, we will now write the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. This time, let us have a formal definition. The derivative of f with respect to x denoted by f prime of x is defined to be, this is the formula, f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0, provided the limit exists. Let us see this example. Find the derivative of f of x equals 3x minus x square using the definition. For our solution, let us write our formula here. And let us have the step 1 and that is to evaluate the function f of x plus h. It means considering the given function here, let us substitute x plus h to all the x that we will see in the function. So we have now f of x plus h equals the 3x here becomes 3 times the quantity x plus h minus the x square now becomes the square of the quantity x plus h. Let us simplify and we have now 3x plus 3h minus, let us expand the square of x plus h into x square plus 2hx plus h square. Simplifying further by removing the grouping symbol, considering the negative sign here, 
And the final answer for step 1 is 3x plus 3h minus x squared minus 2hx minus h squared. And then step 2, solve for the derivative. Let us now substitute the corresponding value of our formula here. So we have now f prime of x equals the limit of this function f of x plus h is now the value that we solve from step 1. So we have this big polynomial we will write here minus the f of x is the given function here. So we have 3x minus x squared all over h as h approaches 0. Please observe in our numerator that we can simplify by removing the grouping symbol and then we can see some terms that we can cancel. The 3x here can be cancelled with a 3x there. This negative x square here can be cancelled with the negative x square here. Now let us rewrite our limit in simplified form. So we have f prime of x equals the limit of 3h minus 2hx minus h square all over h as h approaches 0. Observe again that in our numerator, there is a common factor which is h. Let us factor it out. So we have now h times the quantity 3 minus 2x minus h all over h. So we can cancel this h in the denominator and that common factor. Simplifying further, we have the limit of the quantity 3 minus 2x minus h as h approaches 0. Let us now simplify this limit by substituting 0 to that value of h. So we have 3 minus 2x minus 0. And the final answer is 3 minus 2x. This is the derivative that we are looking for. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.